Sometimes he's hot. He's very physical with women. With other women. With other women. Sometimes he's not. He doesn't like kissing me on my lips. I'm just not into that sort of thing. But when he had a blind date, you would rather kiss her than kiss her? To be honest, I would. He was really into that sort of thing. His attention was all on me. Must have not been nobody else around. After she dates a hottie whose heat was for her. Boutte is there. Will they kiss and make up or have a change of heart? Welcome to Change of Heart. This is the show where couples who've reached sort of a crossroads in their relationship voluntarily go on one blind date with someone new. They've done that. We're going to meet them later. Right now, let's meet our couple. They've been dating for eight months, and they say that their most romantic date ever was going to a taping of a live television show. Please welcome Clarence Richardson and Melissa Griffin. Both are on here because you thought maybe the grass might be greener on the other side, so that's why the uh, blind date experience came into play. But before we get to that, uh, Clarence, we'll start with you. What first attracted you to uh, Melissa? Oh, uh, when I seen that we was inside a Waffle House and she had mad booty, man. I mean, mad booty. Uh, mad booty. I was like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, so you know, I... hanging out at the Waffle House will do that to you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too many of that whipped cream and stuff. True that. True. Yeah. But and... when I seen it, that, that's the first thing that attracted me to her. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Mad booty. <laughs> yeah. 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 What, was, what was so romantic about going to a taping of a TV show? Oh, it was nice. The first time I ever was in a live audience on television, you know, it was just nice. And then after that, he was romantic in his own little way. And we looked at the lake, and it was, like, real pretty, and it was cold. And he was, like, hugging me behind me uh -huh. and talking to uh -huh. me. Yeah. <laughs> Does Clarence give you a lot of attention? No, he flirts a lot, you know. He basically, he hugs a lot. He's very physical with women. With other women? Number, other women. Uh-huh. You know, he has numbers. But on a serious tip, you know what I'm saying, I'm like that because, I mean, that's just the way I am. I mean, I like to talk to people. I'm very friendly, in other words. Let me say that. Okay, well, maybe the ladies will understand, you know, would you like for your man to take a number home? You know, if he don't have intentions to call, then, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No he way. Know it. I just want to just be he quiet. Right. Clarence, how okay. would you describe Melissa's personality? I think she has a very nice personality, but she's pushy. She's very exciting, you know what I'm saying? She, she just act crazy, just say that much. She yeah. a little freaky? <laughs> yeah. Oh, how she, she act crazy? I mean, in a lot of ways, like, we were sitting around, and then we were standing at the bus stop, and then all of a sudden, she seen this dude, Candyman. He's an actor. Uh -huh. And she started, oh, Chase, oh, screaming out loud, you know, but just, calm down. But remember, What's you know, I had never actually seen a star, so I got happy, you know, and I yeah. felt like he should be happy, too. Right. You know? Like, yeah, you really, you know? I get happy with him. Uh -uh. Yes, I do. Well, I'm so sorry. Is there anything that Clarence won't do for you? Got problems in that area? Um, he doesn't, like, actually... Kissing me on my lips. He he smacked, he smooched. You know, he kissed, but, but he I, doesn't. But I feel just... like, you know what I'm saying, she should respect the way I am because I don't like kissing in the mouth. You know, I give you a kiss on the cheek, and I'm straight with that. You know what I'm saying? If I'm straight with it, why aren't you straight with it? Yes, but I do a lot of things. He yeah, don't but like, wait, he wait, don't wait, 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 wait. That, that is a little odd. <laughs> yeah, no. It is deep. I'm going to let you go by that easy. I mean, that's a little weird not kissing on the mouth kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not into that certain thing. You know what I'm saying? I've always been like that. Oh, okay. So. Ha have you changed much, either one of you, since you met, Clarence? Well, we changed a lot, I must admit it, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I'm just keep it real on the serious tip. When I met her, I mean, the booty was all that. You know, she didn't have that much stomach. And it's like, now that I look at it, uh, she just got a stomach. There again, you go. Her hair there cut in the wrong position. There you go. You know, there, you know what? Like, you know what? He, all, he, always talking, he always talking about my hair. You know what I'm saying? When he first met me, I didn't have no complaints. You know? Uh -huh. I didn't have any complaints <laughs> about my hair, no nothing. But well, now know, it's like... Patty like, LaBelle? Listen, or what? What your, hair, your hair is kind of short. Unless you get in the stomach, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't get to go nowhere. I'm always in the house with him. So it's like, oh, right. you know, I'm getting a little bigger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, Melissa, how does he treat you, though? Other than that, he's sweet. He is, is he sweet? Yeah. Except That's for sweet. the things about your appearance. Right. He's spoiled. He treat me like sometimes, for instance, like we getting ready to go to bed. Mm -hmm. um, he'll walk right past the television. He'll walk right past the light, get in the bed and be like, let's cut the light out, cut the TV out. <laughs> but that's I'm like, well, man, you She's just been walk knowing me like that for the longest, you know what I'm saying? I'm spoiled. That's the way I am. I like to be spoiled. All right, Clarence, do you, do you take Melissa out at all? Do you guys go out? I mean, lunch? we used to go out, but then right now I don't go out with her no more because I like to dance and I dance. Uh -huh. But she don't never, we go to the dance club and all like that, and she'll dance off me with one song. After that, she'll sit down and she get mad because the girls want to dance with me. 
mean? I'm sitting up well, here looking but, stupid. Uh, when we walk in the club, you know, it's like, hug. Why you got the hug? You can tell her hi. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you ain't got the hug. <laughs> All right, Mr. Popularity. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> why is it you agreed to go on a separate date then? Because I thought here. that automatically, I was thinking like, in other words, if we go on this date, uh -huh. this is going to either make us go apart or it's going to make our relationship stronger. So, you know, I'm going for here. Whatever happens, hey, this happens. Okay, makes a lot of sense, and we'll find out what happens. But it seems that Clarence and Melissa obviously have some doubts about their relationship. When we come back, we're going to meet the people that they dated, and we'll find out if they've had a change of heart. <laughs> Welcome back to Change of Heart. We're here with Clarence and Melissa, who agree that their relationship definitely needs a jump start. Melissa says that Clarence flirts with every woman that walks by, but won't even kiss her on the lips. So we set her up with a one-woman man who likes to spoil his woman with massages and gentle kisses. Please welcome Tracy Williams. Have a seat. <laughs> All right. Clarence, what are you thinking about Tracy here? Oh, man, you remind me of Freddie Jackson, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but can I say, sing, sing just like him, too. That's all good. Okay. Wow. Right. Melissa, any signs that you and Tracy would be compatible when you started hanging out a little bit? Yes, he's an Aries, and I've never dated anything but Aries men. Uh-huh. You know, That's nice good. Hair. You had the birthday going. Hair not all, you know, different and long and crazy like my man's. Huh? Mm. That's deep right there. Uh -huh. uh, Tracy, what did you think about Melissa when you met? Um, Melissa was a beautiful person when I first met her. Mm -hmm. I um, have to agree with Clarence, the bouté is there. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Um, I, just, I do dis disagree with you. Um, I thought the hair was very, um, it was short and sassy, and it just matched her face uh, with the beautiful complexion that she had. Uh -huh. Clarence sounds like Tracy certainly appreciates her looks and doesn't have the same complaints that you have. True that. Everybody got their own opinion, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Hey, he might think different than me, but I still like her with longer hair, you know what I'm saying? Okay. The booty's still all good. Yeah. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa, you say you always have to pamper Clarence. Was that the same case with Tracy? No, he planned a date. Uh, he brought me flowers. He planned a nice romantic picnic. You know, it was just fun. You know, he took care of me. So he was doing the pampering yeah. that time. Tracy, well, why was it a picnic that you planned? Well, see, I'm a hopeless romantic type person. Uh -huh. I wanted to, uh, you know, just pamper her with a flower serenade, do a little singing, mm -hmm. and, you know, just enjoy uh, her, you know, just enjoy to pamper her, you know, unlike uh, her man, Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, that's deep right there. And, and Melissa? That's deep. Melissa, how long did the picnic last? For about three hours. Uh-huh. No. And a little serenading one? <laughs> yes, he serenaded me. He sung to me. It was nice. Like it Freddie Jackson or not? Nice. <laughs> yes. A little yes. bit? Or Luther? <laughs> a little bow. A little bit of bow. Yeah, not a, a bad combination, bow. actually. Uh, Clarence, you ever sing to Melissa? Never. I <laughs> rap to her, you know what I'm saying? But I don't do those kind of things, you know what I'm saying? I'm, much to, I'm a different person. I'm uh -huh. like a symbol, we'll just say that much. Okay. Melissa, it definitely sounds like Tracy was much more attentive than Clarence. Yes. You would agree? Yes, he was. He didn't flirt. He took me shopping. You know, he was checking me out while I was walking. Okay. Yeah. And Tracy, <laughs> shopping seems to be rather popular for the women. A good way to win somebody over. Well, I noticed, you know, she, um, on the date, she uh, had a little tooth, toothache. So mm -hmm. I thought, you know, taking her down to the fashion district um, and let her shop, I thought it can get it, uh, get that toothache, you know, make her forget a little right. bit about it. Oh, and Melissa, did he buy you a little presents while you were down there? Yes. Oh, she <laughs> she bought some, some shorts and a shirt, and he picked me out some opium body spray. Wow. Yeah. So you look good and smell good. Yes. Wow. Clarence, what do you think of the little Santa Claus plan here? Oh, man. That's Tracy. Some... Hey, you know, he did that because it's the first date, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. For real. He ain't like that for real. He couldn't be. No. <laughs> and you still say he ain't getting with her. Yeah, okay. ain't getting with her. You never know. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Tracy. Mm -hmm. Clarence said that Melissa gets a little crazy excited, a little freaky sometimes when she gets all worked up. Was she like that with you at all? You know, she was. Uh, she's a 
She's a very excited person, a mm -hmm. good heart. Um, when we were shopping, it was like a kid being in a candy store. Just exciting to, uh, to see her happy and seeing all the, the little gifts that I was getting her. But um, she's not the, the type of person that, um, that's not overexcited, but just, you know, a lot of energy. Just right. a lot of good energy, positive energy. Yeah. See, yeah. Clarence, he appreciated. it. Yeah, he appreciated. it, you know what I'm saying? She is a good person, don't get me wrong. But, you know, me and him got different values, so. Okay. <laughs> Melissa, you said that Clarence wouldn't kiss you on the lips. Did, did you experience that at all here with Tracy? No, he gave me a real nice gentleman-like kiss on my hand. Uh-huh. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Come on. Besides the kiss on the hand, Tracy, did you want to take the romance a little further? Oh, yes. Actually, I wanted to give her a nice big kiss, but um, I had to, you know, respect that. And, um, you know, unlike, unlike Clarence, um, you know, I would have loved to. Definitely would have loved to. Hit those to. lips, yeah. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Melissa, did he have other romantic ideas in mind? Uh, yeah. A hotel reservation. <laughs> wait, wait, say that again? A hotel reservation. Hotel reservation. Yeah. <laughs> First, he's talking about respecting and not kissing, but he got yeah, the hotel you know what I'm Man, Cut the chase, just get with the program. Yeah, Tracy, what's up with that? Well, <clears throat> just in case or what? Yeah, just in case. I thought um, if the if the night would have um, pr you know prolonged, I would have uh, just just to be sure to have the hotel reservation there. But um, you might have needed a nap or something. Yeah. Clarence, is that right? What? I mean, is it that whole situation him even banking on that at all? Oh no, nah, he was, should have even banked on it. It shouldn't even <laughs> came to his head. That's the first thing. Right when he thought about she with Clarence, even though he don't know how to look, he should have known it was over. Uh, was being showered with romance and gifts enough to give Melissa a change of heart? We don't know yet, but we'll find out later. And next, we get to meet the woman that Clarence dated and hear what happened on their date. Well, we just heard what happened on Melissa's date with Tracy, and now we get to meet the woman that Clarence dated. Clarence says that Melissa cut her hair too short, has gotten too pushy, and won't get down on the dance floor. So please welcome a woman with long locks and a killer dance move, Kelly Quinine. Melissa, there he goes, hugging up all over yeah, her right out of the that's, bat. That's usual. Yeah. That's just like him. Okay. You know. But, Melissa, what do you think as uh, far as Tracy goes oh, for a date? You're, you're pretty. You're nice. <laughs> <laughs> you're not my type, but she... Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Uh, Kelly, did the date get off to a good start? No. No. Um, what happened? Clarence was 35 minutes late. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He came on the bus. Okay. Not very impressive. Not very impressive. But um, I, um, I was leaving, actually, because I thought he wasn't going to show up. And I was going towards my car, and I, I saw him. And he looked like he didn't know where he was going or anything like that. So well, I Kelly, decided, how did you recognize him? I didn't. Oh, he, just, I did. he just looked like he didn't know where he was. So I kind of just intuitively thought, maybe this is him. So I called his name, like, twice, and he didn't. he didn't respond and then I like, yelled his name and then he responded. But wow. then he turned around and he gave me this big beautiful smile uh -huh. and he gave me this, he ran to me and gave me this big bear hug, best hug I've had all year. So that made up for like the 35 minutes that I had to wait and sit. Best hug of the year. You know. That must have been some hug. You know, it must have been. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> was it? Was it? Hey, you know Clarence, what I'm uh, were you attracted to Kelly right off the uh, right off the bat? Oh yes, I was attracted to her when I seen it. it was automatically, and then we were just sitting there. And when I looked at her, I was like, man. And when she turned around, uh -huh. it was all good. It was all good. I'm telling you, <laughs> perfect. Okay, uh, Kelly. Besides the fact that he was late and he couldn't, he didn't know who he was when you were calling on his name. Your first impression when you saw him? No, he looked really good. He were you afraid really he was going to be really stupid or anything? <laughs> no. No, no, okay. no. He looked good. His hair was pulled back like it is now. It looked good. The only thing I didn't like was the piercings. You could do without the piercings. And those piercings not a good thing. Yeah. How many okay. you got? I just got a couple. No, I got like about six of them. He oh, got okay. ears mm -hmm. and he had big old hoops on. And wait a minute. You say you don't like me being pushy. She kind of pushy too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, was Kelly, was she pushy? Uh, no, but she wasn't pushy at all. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Plus, she's more mature and she's older, so, you know, uh, older. I was cool with that. Yeah, mature. Yeah. Good words. Okay. <laughs> uh, Kelly, Melissa says that uh, Clarence is spoiled. Did you feel that he was spoiled? Oh, my God. Totally. But oh, yeah? I really love spoiling him, and I think maybe that's why he might need an older woman to spoil him and take care of him. And, like, I really felt he appreciated me spoiling him. I did. So. Well, Very. Why, why can't you do that? I can't. Oh, I'm not saying you can't do anything. I'm not saying oh, that. Okay, I was just, I'm just wondering, talking was there about... something in particular you could do better than I could? No. Oh, okay. No, 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 okay. no. So just okay. in general. Kind just of. in yeah. a general yeah. thing. All right, Kelly, Melissa said that Clarence was always flirting when they're out together. Was he flirting when he was with you? No, his attention was all on me. Must have not been nobody else around. No, there were... <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. There were women, two women sitting right next to us, actually nice, attractive women. And he didn't have anything to say to them. And Clarence, the truth, you didn't flirt with anybody the whole night? I didn't flirt with nobody. I was too busy looking at her. Uh -huh. Just look at her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I was okay. deep. I was real deep on the serious tip. I just kept looking to her eyes. I couldn't even eat my food. Okay. <laughs> Kelly. Oh, okay. Kelly, how was the dinner conversation? Well, he made me laugh a lot, but I'm used to being kind of more intellectually stimulated, so it was kind of on a low level that way. Uh -huh. But, I mean, he made me laugh, and that's, like, a good thing. Oh, so. man, on a serious tip. When she said that, she, it hurt my feelings. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I was just being honest. I'm sorry. It was okay. all good. Now, what about those lips, Clarence? Would you kiss those lips? Or is that a rule that goes everywhere? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to be honest, I would. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to kiss on the first date. But you know what I'm saying? I wanted to respect it. Wait a I mean, minute. It just... Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm your wife, and you would rather kiss her than kiss me? Would you? I got to be honest, okay. yeah, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. And then when I see her, it's all good. It's all and she good. gave me that hug, it's and this teddy good. bear right here. Oh. That topped everything off, you know what I'm saying? Because I never got a gift like this before. Wow. Okay. It sounds like you guys had a really long date and a good night out. What time did you uh, bring Kelly home, Clarence? What time did I come home? Yeah, or come home, or whatever did you did? Six o'clock in the morning. Six a.m. <laughs> Was it a long bus ride home alone, or...? <laughs> okay. It was all good, just It was. Night. Okay. We'll take your word on it <laughs> at this point. Well, will Clarence and Melissa have a change of heart? That's what's left to decide. During the break, they're going to make their decisions, and we'll find out what they've decided when we come back. <laughs> Truth. Uh, during the break, Clarence and Melissa each had to make a final decision about the future of their relationship, and there's no turning back. Will they stay together, or have they had a change of heart? Melissa, you said that it was make or break time, so here we are. You wanted somebody that would show you some more affection, pay a lot of attention to you. Tracy sounded like you did a lot of that on your date. You had a good date, but you got the, some time in with Clarence here. How you feeling, and what did you decide? I really had a good time. Oh, yeah? You know, the picnic was lovely. It was nice. You ain't always romantic. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, the gifts was just lovely. I felt like queen for a day. Mm -hmm. Which you, you are. Piss me Which off you today. are. You know, but... I just oh, have to say the gifts. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Tracy. Mm -hmm. Things didn't work out too well for you. Clarence, you said that when you came on, you wanted somebody that might be a little better for you, and you know, down getting dancing and getting crazy on the dance floor. Uh, somebody that didn't mind spoiling you, and in fact, even a pair of lips that you wouldn't mind kissing, since you had a problem with Melissa's. And you said you, you said you found that there, but is it worth keeping, or what have you decided? Is it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really had a good time with you on a serious tip. Give me a hug. Mm. Uh-huh. There he goes hugging again. Yeah. You know I have to do like that. Like always. And Melissa, <laughs> we've been together for eight months and stuff like that. And I really do care about you. But our relationship is head to a disaster. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. Oh. Stay together. Let's go give it a shot. Wow. Thank you, Danny. Uh, Sorry, Kelly. Things didn't work out for you either. It's okay. All right, well, you came here. I hope your relationship gets a little stronger here. Clarence is staying with Melissa, you can tell, yes. <laughs> That's how it works, sir. Clarence, you take good care of her, will you? All right.
Good luck, guys. All right. Thanks for being here. That's our show. Thanks to Tracy and Kelly. Good luck to Clarence and Melissa. We'll see you next time on Change of Heart. All right.